Chrissy from the team at Slack, and I'm going to show you how to automate your work with Slack so that you can get more done. It feels like we're all getting busier than ever, but without enough hours in the day, how can you make sure that you're accomplishing as much as you can? Now is the best time to try Slack's Workflow Builder. Workflow Builder is a tool in Slack that allows you to automate tasks without needing to know how to code. You can use it to create workflows that send messages, create forms, or integrate with other apps. Here are some common tasks that you could automate. Sending daily status updates on big projects. Requesting approvals from leaders. Sharing files with your team. Or keeping work streams moving forward for an upcoming launch. Let's work together and automate a workflow using Workflow Builder. Now let's say that you're working with a large team around the world and you need weekly status updates on your company's big project. Now you could send an email to everybody every week, but what if you forget? What if you're sick? Or what if people just don't check their email? You could also schedule a weekly meeting, but then you'd have to find a time that works for everyone every week. And what if someone is sick that day? Or what if you have teammates in different time zones? And what if the actual meeting is just everyone sitting around sharing updates? What if there were a better way? Here's how you could stay ahead of it by using Slack's Workflow Builder. Click the More tab, then click on Automations, then Workflow Builder. Now let's get to building our status update workflow. To start, click on Create Workflow and then See All Templates on the sidebar. You could also start from scratch using a different trigger, but we'll talk about that in a different video. For this weekly status update, select the Send a Scheduled Message template. Now let's pause and cover all of the great features inside Workflow Builder. On the right side, you'll see the different steps that you can add to your process or workflow. These steps can take action in Slack, like sending a message, or in your apps, like creating a JIRA ticket or adding a row to Google Sheets. You can search for a specific action, or you can click on a step like users, forms, or messages to get options. On the left side, you'll see the send a scheduled message workflow showing the process from start at the top to the end at the bottom. The trigger is already set up for me, asking my team for a status update every Monday at 9 a.m. If I wanted to change the trigger, I could click the edit icon and pick something else. I'm happy with the trigger, so let's customize our message for our team. Click the edit icon in the message step. First, select the channel where this automated weekly message will go. Then we'll edit the message. Now our team loves the fire emoji, so I'm going to add that in. And I can also see the preview of what the message will look like. I think it looks great, so I'll hit save. Now that everything looks exactly how I want it to, I'll click publish. Now, every week, Slack will automatically run this workflow, collecting updates across your team and sharing it back with you. So what does that mean for you and your team? Now you'll never forget to ask for an update and your team can thoughtfully reply with their update on their own time. And you can start having meaningful discussions right away. Nice work. To make sure that your automations are always working well, here are some best practices to keep in mind. Use templates. We've made it super easy to get started covering common needs across teams just like yours. So find one, edit as you need, and get it out to your company. Start with small tasks. Don't try to automate your entire workday all at once. Start with small, simple tasks and then build on them as you go. Use different triggers. Triggers let you decide how you want the workflow to start. For example, you could create a trigger that kicks off a workflow when someone joins a channel or when a certain emoji reaction is used. Share your workflows. Workflows that use a link trigger can be added in relevant places so that they're easy to access, like putting them in the bookmarks bar of a relevant channel. You can even embed your workflow in a canvas. Make sure your steps flow from one to the other. Sometimes it can be really helpful to draft out the steps before you enter Workflow Builder. And finally, 
test your workflows. Before you deploy a workflow, make sure to test it to make sure that it works as expected. And that's it. Try automating your work using Slack's Workflow Builder so that you can get more done easier. Check out our other videos in our Workflow Builder series or visit slack.com help to learn more. Thanks for watching.